I, what's crazy is I had this cold epiphany, and I, I think I asked you this. If you take from a prostitute, is it rape or is it theft? And I said, I would say it was theft. <laughs> 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 if, you know, because yeah, she, she giving that same up anyway. Hey, that's a mean, good one, my nigga. That's a good stealing, one. You know if what I mean? You take stealing pussy from, from a prostitute. Is it rape or is it theft? Theft. Stealing. Because it's, it's what just... you what what would you rather have right now? And so, if I whipped out my wallet and paid you for what I took, would you be satisfied? Yeah, because that same girl, if she cocks you, let's say you 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 did your due right, and you don't ran up out the hotel or whatever, but she following you. And you throw five hundred dollars at her. She probably going about her business. I would like to hear what people think about that, man. Yeah, I, and you know I, what? because that's a good analogy. And, and it can go, and it can go either way, bro. Because I, I like I assume you brothers do. I feel very strongly about some a man taking anything from a woman, no exactly. matter who they is, no matter what their vocation is in life. That's just wrong. You know what I mean? And I don't even know how you get no joy out of that. I think you have to have some type of sociopathic tendencies. To even enjoy that type of interaction, but yeah, but but on that, but on the on the hypothetical, yeah, that's a good, that's a good like because like, a and, and, and I would have to ask a prostitute that because it, like because and, and this is the problem I think too is like we keep trying to cross this world where we're like um, we're trying to sell make believe as reality. But then we get mad when some people don't understand. They don't have the IQ to to process that is make believe. Exactly. It was an episode of SVU where this lady was doing like her OnlyFans live thing, and she was uh, um, she was she was selling rape fantasies with her audience, and they was paying her for rape fantasies. And she kept telling this specific guy, like, "I want you to climb in my window." And, and take the take the product, right? Climb on my window and take the product, and you know, telling him, telling him he loved, she loved him, and blah blah blah. And one day, this motherfucker came in and took the product, right? And he ended up going to court. She figured it out, and it's like everybody doesn't have the IQ to decipher the make believe you're selling. The make believe you're selling. Everybody don't have the IQ to decipher it. And it's time in society that we stop forwarding that belief that everybody has the IQ and knows the difference with make believe and real. I just was saying it earlier, and this is gonna sound crazy, but I I knew Rick Ross was selling fantasy. Rick Ross is in my top five, right? As as far as guys that I like a lot of their music. Yeah, Rick Ross is the right? monster. Right, but I understood he was selling fantasy. You know, and, and even he got mad at me when I said it, but it's true. Like, I understand he's selling fantasy. He's named after somebody I actually know the nigga. You know, mm -hmm. like, it's a fantasy and it's fine. I didn't realize as much that Jeezy shit was fantasy until, like, the other day. So even a motherfucker that has sold PCP, that has sold crack, bricks, all that, I didn't never really listen to realize that Jeezy shit could be a fantasy as well. So it's no different than these girls or anybody else selling something like if that's like you, hey, you like, yeah, I'm a crip, cuz, track new, blah, blah, original shit, blah, blah, blah. And 20 years ago, a nigga approached you like, hey, what's up, nigga? You from track? You like, no, my nigga, I'm rapping about nigga. I I believe every I believed that, everybody. That's just what I was saying. I, I was just saying that shit. I was just saying like back in back in our days, it was it was different. Because how can you scream victim when you portraying to be something like to the world? Like like yeah. Like I'm 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 telling a nigga I'm a crip and I'm rapping and blah 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 blah. So if other if other crips who disliked what I was talking about or other bloods will walk up to me and I'm signing autographs and a nigga be like, fuck you, nigga, where you from? I'm not finna go, I'm not from nowhere. Hey, brother, that's I a rap tell song, a nigga brother. straight up, fuck hey, you, hey. I'm from Trag New Park. I, hey, brother, it's a, hey, brother, it's a rap song. I, that, right. that's not, I didn't so, mean that. And I was just saying that to Steel back, you know, we was talking like, how am I going to tell a nigga like, like, you know, like a nigga do right about now on the record, 
You know, I'm the hardest nigga out here. Nigga, I'll blow a nigga down and shoot a nigga with the 2-2 two -two and I'll AR-15 a nigga and I'll whoop de whoop And then a nigga see you backstage at a show, a nigga gonna go, oh, yeah, nigga, you do all that? And then I run behind security and steal and go, a nigga trying to assault me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, it, it, it doesn't fit. So my thing is I get entertainment. You get me? I get yeah. when motherfucking Superman jump off the building and fly. That shit ain't really but even happening. With, but you even get with me? Superman, because I'm gonna tell you, I've been in the, I've been in Hollywood before, and have seen actors get accosted over roles that they played. Exactly. Hell and, yeah. it's, and it's just some dumb people out there, bro, that can't discern between what's fiction and look what's how reality. Many, look how many people after Pac played Bishop, who was like, "Oh my God, he's he's really Bishop." You get they, me? Pac, they, all the niggas around said Pac kind of got lost in the character. Exactly. Because, I, I mean, I kind of said the same thing a little bit. Because if you notice who my nigga was before that, and then you play this role, like... Mm -hmm. Niggas is gonna start testing you. How many yeah, niggas bro, really? How many? How many niggas really thought fucking Lorenz was old dog? Yeah, for and real. And you walk up to Lorenz and you be like, "What the fuck?" Hey, mm -hmm. listen to me, man. When I first got in the business, oh six, oh seven, man, I really thought everybody was the same. I had no idea. That everybody wasn't like this. No. I really thought, because every song, when I was doing it, it wasn't like the song. I didn't hear Contra's Most Wanted and start selling dope. I was selling dope listening to Contra's Most Wanted. Exactly. I didn't put in work, because Cube said put in work. I was putting in work, exactly. listening to Cube, going to bus on the Largo, whatever we was doing. So when I got into business, it was strange to listen to people talk. And it was like, wait a minute, like this is not this? And then, like, Dub C had to set me down, man. It was a crazy conversation. I was like, holy shit. Because why would I know? I, you, and I'm not blaming the rapper, right? I'm not blaming anybody because this is entertainment. Like, if, if I was ignorant enough to think Arnold Schwarzenegger was a fucking Terminator, that could be considered my fault. But at the same time, I'm not that fucking crazy. It's people who don't have the IQ or information to decipher that, this person may not be like this. Like, this is what you told me. I believe you. So I'm expecting it to be this way. Oh, bro, that's a, um, that's what I, I, how many how many naive motherfuckers out there right now believe Suki be eating niggas asses. I thought she did. Oh, you get this me? little whore is nasty as a motherfucker. Like, like, that, I mean, tell you the truth, I'm like. Do she really eat niggas' asses? Like, is she? Because I know some, I know some nasty broads. Yeah, no, so you, I'm like, like, damn, she start rapping. Like, she hey, if she rapping. rapping it, maybe she really get down like she live. Yeah, and I don't even know if that's a, um, you know, comparing gangster rap. Oh, it's the same. You know, com to what they doing. Yeah, it is the yeah, same. Yeah, because it's, it's a sort of lot. It's a lot of niggas who will say I'm a hard nigga and I claim this and I'm from this and I'm from that. But I would say with and gangster rappers, they have a tendency to embellish the facts a little bit more, but it's still a fact. I don't think you could be sweet, sweet, probably purebred at the crib, then get on the record talk about eating people's ass and sucking their balls. And it's niggas. It's niggas still. Niggas are not gangsters, but they might make gangster rap. That. It's yeah. actually more niggas that are not gang members that make gangster rap than there are niggas that are gang members that make gangster rap. Completely, like just how you said, like literally not a gangster. Completely, not at all, not even a little bit, and they make gangster rap. Right. My but but I don't think I don't think we ever looked at those guys as victims if something happened to them. Like not us. Maybe people outside of the culture, but not us. We was like, oh shit. Well, you know, this is how this shit go. Exactly. That's how it, for us. That's how it go. But like I said, there's a gang of naive motherfuckers out there that be like, oh nigga, you you you, you smoke the like, like a that. nigga see a nigga see the character and menace to society. And even though I've come from that walks of life. You know what I'm saying? Gang bang, toted guns, all that type of shit. Up. Uh. Niggas look at minister society and go, 
Oh, did you really kill a nigga with the Desert Eagle? Did you no, really people like really? people are, are naive people. to that shit? Some they people think you just walked up on somebody when they bleeding. Where you need some help, homie, not, and not just that, walked up like, on them. Oh, but, <laughs> like, so it goes a long way. The 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 shit that you rap about and the image you portray. Mm -hmm. It goes a long way to certain people, because like I said, there's really niggas out there who might go, oh, fuck this nigga when he come to town. You see, niggas test. thought I actually killed Tupac. I'm not, I still will tell you. Yeah, we there's a lot there's of shit naive that. people out there, and, and I don't give a fuck how crazy this shit sounds. It's just some motherfuckers who were just, nah, nigga, that shit, nigga, that shit really happened. So the, the, whole, the whole point about that is, how how like how do these you know and i ain't gonna even say just the females because like you say glasses it's a lot of niggas who rap about what they're really not about Pinocchio, we gon' tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. Oh. Gangsta Chronicles, this is not your average show. 